magnetic dipole moment due to orbital motion of electrons. Consider a circular loop carrying a current. Let I be the current passing through this loop and let R be the radius of this loop and when a current passes through this loop it produces a magnetic field or a magnetic dipole moment will be induced in it and this magnetic dipole moment will be acting in this direction will be projected outward in this direction and we can consider this magnetic dipole moment as mu mu can be represented as mu is equal to this current i into the area enclosed by this loop and if the area is a it is i a if r is the radius of this loop then the area a can be represented as a is equal to pi r square or the magnetic dipole moment mu is equal to i into pi r square similarly we can consider the case of an electron which is moving around the nucleus so an electron is a charged particle and if this electron it revolves around the nucleus that is fixed orbit and then similar to the first case here also a magnetic field will be induced or a magnetic dipole moment will be induced in it and it can be acting in this direction so let e is the charge of the electrons and if this electron crosses any point 1 by t times in unit time then the current induced by this electron it can be represented as i is equal to the charge of the electron into the time t. So here the magnetic moment induced in this case due to the orbital motion it can be represented as mu l. So the magnetic dipole moment induced in the case of an electron orbiting around the nucleus mu l can be written as mu l is equal to using this equation this current into area or here we can represent it as the current e by t into the area of this orbit if r is the radius of this orbit if r is the radius and an electron moves with a velocity v in this direction and electron moves with a velocity then we can represent the area of this circular uh, orbit as pi into r square pi into r square but this t can be represented as t is equal to that is the total distance covered by the electron for a complete revolution one single revolution is 2 pi r if r is the radius then 2 pi r will be the distance and the velocity v will be here so we can represent this mu l as e into v divided by 2 pi r into pi r square so if you are considering this as that is mu l is equal to pi will cancels and r will cancels then we get e into we are divided by 2 so the electron it is orbiting around the nucleus with a velocity v and let r be the radius of this orbit and if m is the mass of the electron the orbiting electron will constitute an angular momentum and here the angular momentum is the orbital angular momentum Generally, the angular momentum can be written as L is equal to MVR or we can represent the VR as L by M. L by M. Here we are multiplying and dividing this equation with the M. That is M divided by M. 
then we get that is mu l the magnetic dipole moment due to the orbital motion mu l is equal to e by 2m into this angular momentum here we can represent this angular momentum instead of l we are representing it as pl the orbital angular momentum the orbital angular momentum pl that is this the relation connecting mu l and pl where mu l is the magnetic dipole moment due to the orbital motion and pl is the orbital angular momentum and the orbital angular momentum it is quantized that is pl can be represented as l h cut or l h by 2 pi it's an integral multiple of h by 2 pi where l is the orbital angular momentum quantum number so we can represent the mu l is equal to e by 2m into l h cut or the mu l will be proportional to l and we can consider this term as that is e h cut by 2m e h cut by 2m so we can consider this term e h cut by 2m and this is a constant term so this is the smallest unit of magnetic dipole moment and this is called the bohr magneto bohr magneto it is mu b it can be represented as mu b then we can find out the value of the bohr magneto mu b is equal to e h cut by 2m is equal to e is 1.6 into 10^-19 minus the charge of the electron and h cut is h by 2 pi or it is 1.055 into 10^-34 minus divided by this 2 into mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10^-31 minus then we get the e h cut by 2 mass 9.274 into 10^-24 minus joule per tesla this is the magnetic mu b that is bohr magneto and we can find out the ratio of the magnetic dipole moment to the orbital magnetic momentum that is we can represent this ratio as mu l divided by pl mu l divided by pl and this from this equation this ratio is mu l by pl that is the ratio of the magnetic dipole moment to the orbital angular momentum it is e by 2m and can also be calculated e by 2m is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 and m is 9.1 into 10 to the minus 31 then we get the ratio as 8.8 into 10 to the minus 9 coulomb per kilogram is the value of this and moment anyway this is the relation connecting the magnetic dipole moment and the orbital angular momentum of an electron orbiting around the nucleus